if you really want to have a social network, you have to interoperate across people who care about privacy and who people who don't care about privacy. If you just make a network that is good for people who do care about privacy, it's a very small network, and it is also a very asocial network <laughs> because they care so much about privacy. So the first thing that we learn from that, hist from that um, experience is that it has to op interoperate between the free and the paid, and then you get a chance. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is that you just cannot say, let me just, first of all, people don't care that much about privacy. Let me just give, make, a, make a social network that's kind of like Facebook, except that I, we are new. So we're going to give you a fraction of what Facebook already offers and expect people to come. That's not going to happen. You know why? There are already a billion people on Facebook. They said it is plenty fine. There is no need for another system that is a subset of that experience. So what it says to us is that if you want to do anything about this, you have to create a new experience and draw people to the new experience instead of just saying that you care about privacy.